Let's go, <laughs> let's go, you, let's go. Do you want to do your shoes first? Like, no, I'll crack on one. You want to crack on? Doing it, yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll crack. Yeah. Co- this is Cogan Cassis for Rifle TV and Association of Macklin's Jim Marlborough at the Manchester Arena here for World War Three. With me, I've got still Commonwealth champion Luke Blackledge. Uh, went the distance with Lee Markham. What did you make of the judges scoring, first of all? Uh, doesn't really matter, does it? I won the fight, you know. You know, I, I thought I won about nine of the rounds, lost maybe three. I might have lost four tops. I don't even think I lost four rounds. You know, I was cruising, you know, I was in like cruise mode through the fight. I didn't really step it up. My hands was hurting, you know, I think in round three, four. Uh, he did have a tough head like, but you know, I boxed him, caught me some good shots, the fight kept getting stopped, you know, his gloves, he changed his gloves, you know, uh, but yeah, apart from that, I didn't really, wasn't like the hardest fight, it was an hard fight, but it, I didn't really have to, you know, dig deep, he's a bit awkward, he smothers you, you know, moulds you, uh, but yeah, apart from that, yeah, it was a good learning fight. Something we don't see too often is that the glove change that happened uh, in the middle of the fight. What did you make of that, first of all? I was a bit peed off, like I was asking for Grant gloves to begin with. And then, was it the second round? I boxed his head off first round, second round, and then the fight got stopped and he got some Grant gloves. So I'm like, what's going on here? You know, where's my Grant gloves? And then, uh, yeah, we, we, we cracked on it, went on, and yeah, I, I thought, you know, boxed his head off basically. I think he come in, he come back late on through the fight and maybe nicked a couple of the rounds. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, yeah, I cruised the fight. You're in a very tough weight division domestically. Um, what's your steps now to sort of put yourself amongst the elite of the, the super middleweights we have in this country, Luke? Yeah, basically, I'm, I'm 25, you know, I'm, le- I'm learning. I've been with Matt just over a year and a half. I'm learning. Uh, I ain't got no rush. I'm not going to start calling all the big, big names out. You know, I want to sit down with my team and I want to defend my Commonwealth again and, you know, learn, just keep improving. You know, I've just been got a contract of Frank Warren. You know, I'm chuffed to bits. I want to sit down with my team and Steve and uh, Frank Warren, you know, and... and pick another good fight for me, defend my Commonwealth. At some point, I'm assuming that you want to crack at the British, which is contested by uh, Rocky Fielding, who already fought and Cam Smith uh, next month. But is that your sort of next name, is to sort of head towards a shot of that? But to be honest, uh, I, just, I just want to sit down with my team again, you know, and just go, put maybe, I, I don't want to start chasing titles, I've done that in the past, I've chased fights and I've chased titles, I just, I've got a title, the Commonwealth, and I just want to, you know, defend my Commonwealth again, and then step up, when I've maybe defended it another one more, or two more times, you know, I've just, I've only had, this is my second fight this year, because of injuries, uh, I want to defend it, another couple of times and then step up again. Do you anticipate yourself fighting again by the end of the year? I hope so, yeah. I'm going to uh, I'm going to have a good night out. I've, had, I've been in a 10 weeks camp, you know, I deserve one good night out tonight and then I'm going to be back in gym, you know. The, Alex, I deserve a night out, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Alex. <laughs> I fucking deserve that. I'm going to have him home in bed. You know, I'm going to have a, yeah, I'm going to have a good night out, out with, the, with the lads and uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy myself and I'm going to get back in the gym and uh, I'm going to crack on. I've had two of these, my second fight this year because of injuries and uh, yeah, I'd love to have a fight. My manager Steve just come in and he said he might be able to get me a fight in December, so yeah, it's mint. If anyone can, Steve can. Steve's the man. <laughs> yeah, I just want to thank, you know, all my sponsors, uh, all my fans, you know, who come out today and watch me, you know, showed loads of support and, you know, Box Nation for putting me and Markham, you know, you know, I hope, I hope everyone enjoyed the fight and uh, hopefully you'll see me in December. All right then, Mr Blackledge, thank nice you one. very much for talking to Eiffel TV, congratulations on retaining your title and uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you before the year's out. Yeah, thanks a lot, mate. All right. Cheers. Kevin Cassis, Luke Blackledge, IFL TV. Thank you very much.